Hey and welcome to SAR Trail. I am Jeff and I'm hanging out at Hinkley Overland in Salt Lake City, Utah. If you're in the area, check it out. This is a really cool overlanding shop. They do fabrications, customizations, upgrades, repairs. Check them out. Really cool shop. I've been really impressed walking around this place. But one of the reasons I'm here is to check out this Vorshear XER trailer. This is an overland trailer built super rugged designed for a rooftop tent, not an enclosed type of trailer with a cabin, but built for a rooftop tent, awnings, kitchen setup. Let's check this thing out because it really, really looks rugged and I've been wanting to see this thing for a couple months now. So let's look around. Okay, so at the tongue of the trailer, you got some really cool features. One, you have a steel, it's a uh, super heavy duty steel frame. Everything above that is aluminum. So the frame is built to last, very rigid. You got a receiver on where your coupler is going to go so you can put in an articulating, you can put in a ball and coupler depending on what you want to do for your hitch for your vehicle and then you have looks like honestly an overbuilt size on the jack stand out front where you can crank it up and level your trailer really built heavy and then you just swing that thing you pull the pin and swing that thing to the back and get it out of your way nice feature what I really like is this big tongue box stainless steel hinge right here or clasp right here which is nice then you got your tongue box up here, and everything is a compression fit. All of the boxes around here are all compression fit with a foam that comes around them to keep any dust and dirt and water from getting into where you're storing your gear. This is a really, really large tongue box. Let's take a look inside. All right, so the inside of the tongue box, you can see you got a place for one battery easy, Second battery, third battery, fourth battery, you could put several batteries in there if you wanted to. If you're charging on a solar system, you can add that as well, a charge controller. And you can see the electronics they have in here, but plenty of room in here. Um, and you can monitor your voltage, monitor where everything is running. Uh, another nice feature you have over here is your shore power connect. So if you are at some place that has electricity, your house or a campground that has electricity, you can certainly charge up shore power and run everything that way. So really nice features, huge tongue box, lots of place for storage. You could really get creative on that. Another thing you could do on the tongue box, if you're running a rooftop tent, which you'd need to in this trailer because it doesn't have interior space, but you could certainly put some solar out here on your tongue box. That would be a good spot for it. Or of course, on a hard shell, uh, rooftop tent, you could put solar there as well. So looking around here, um, much in the Vashir style is recovery points on all four corners of the trailer, which is really nice. Uh, your body protection over here, if you get onto any kind of trunks or trees or rocks or whatever, you can kind of slide around those things and not beat up as well. Another thing that we've seen standard on Vashir now is the LED marker lights. All over the trailer you have LED marker lights wired in and then uh, protected with some plastic housing to keep them safe. Also another thing I like about their trailers is the aluminum roof rack on their trailers it is seriously rugged. Really, really nice design. Very rugged. And then you also have the stake pockets where you can put your awning up. Really a good thing to have on a trailer like this one, which is not a tall trailer. So you can mount your awning up high enough so that you can walk underneath it and not have to worry about rubbing your head against it. Another really cool feature is this pass-through tunnel box. Stainless compression latches as well. And then I'm going to run around to the other side so you can see the size of this thing, get the light to come through it. So there you go. You can see the large pass-through box there. Plenty of space to put in. Uh, if you wanted to put in a fridge or a freezer up front, plenty of gear, storage, shelving, however you want to configure it, it is a really, really large space. Huge plus because we all know that when you're out, you're always looking for that one more space to put that one last piece of gear that you just added to your rig. So there it gives you a lot of space. Right next to that is the water intake. This is where you drop in a hose cooked up a hose to fill up your water tank. And then down below, your water tank is right here. You can see this down at the very bottom of your trailer, which is exactly where you want something heavy, like 20, 30 gallons of water. You want that down low to keep your 
trailer as stable as possible. So really nice feature there. You can see all under the side is your welded metal, your steel, super rugged. You have the axleless timber and suspension, an ample amount of ground clearance on this trailer. I believe it's around 23 inches, which is really impressive. Okay, another cool feature you get here on the XER is on both sides. We're on uh, driver's side now and on passenger side as well. You get a storage box over here, right above your wheels, above your fender. Once again, stainless steel compression latches, really nice. Feels very, very solid when you turn it. Um, place for jerry cans, chairs, tables, whatever you want to throw in here. It's really nice, usable space. Also gives you some countertop or prep space or a working space. This doubles as a, as a table. The other side does the same exact thing. Really nice stainless hardware, stainless cables. Really super cool feature. And it's a smart space. It's a, it's a lost space on your trailer if you don't do something like this. Another thing you get is this aluminum and stainless propane tank holder. This is for an 11 pound pro tank, propane tank, uh, which is I think plenty enough to get you going for quite a while. I could probably nurse out a couple weeks just on an 11 pound or maybe carry a spare with you if you wanted to and be gone for, for even longer. Some really nice features. So another thing that caught my eye is under your roof rack, before you get down into the cargo area of your trailer, you have this space in here and it's I'm gonna guess it's about six inches of space and it's got these bungees over it in that area in there you could put camp tables chairs thinking about myself maybe a small surfboard or some skim boards in there a lot of stuff this is a lot of space that I haven't seen on other trailers where they've done this so that is a another area of really functional usable space for your thin stackable items I really like that feature Okay, so here we are on passenger side. Just want to show you real quick, same idea. You got the same storage table combo here. Compression latches, stainless hardware, same exact thing. Really sweet side. All right, so when you look back here, you've got your full size spare, which is absolutely crucial. You got to have that out on the trails. And then you got your Rotopax dual mounts on either side of your spare what I would call a definitely overbuilt swing arm, which is a super nice feature. Um, pivot points here where you can open up and lock this spare swing out in a couple different places depending on your need. So let's go ahead and swing that guy open and see what he looks like. All right, that's opened up. And we have over here, Fold down table, which is nice, more prep service, prep space for your kitchen, which is a very good thing. You can never have too much, quote, countertop space in an overlanding vehicle. You're always looking for more. So a couple things to note at the back of the trailer. LED tail lights, de-shackle recovery points. Uh, you got your stabilization jacks over here so you can level and stabilize both, super nice. Uh, your latch system where your swing away is going to latch in and of course you have a receiver hitch back here and then its counterpart is a receiver underneath the swing away as well so you could mount bicycles back behind your spare tire which is really cool but what I really want to show you is what's inside here it's really really a nice setup done differently than what I've seen before so let's pop this guy open and see what he looks like So at first glance, you have this big cargo area, and a lot of trailers in this class will give you, you know, pretty good sized cargo area, or they'll give you well. some uh, kitchen or whatnot, but let's look at how Brashear does this one, because I think it's a really smart idea. Okay, so check out the, I'm going to say massive kitchen slide that this thing has. So you've got your latches over here, locks in place, unlocks and come on out.
All right, so we're locked in. Right here we have our on-demand hot water. We got sink here, hot and cold water right here on the spot. A very, very large sink. Nice feature. Most of the sinks on trailers, I would say, in this class are going to be pretty small. This one is very big. You can wash dishes in this one. That's really nice. And then over here we have the built-in partner steel dual burner. Great stove. If you haven't heard or researched partner steel, they are one of the tops in the overlanding industry, so you can't go wrong with what they have right here. Okay, another feature we have here is from your on-demand hot water, there's plumbing up underneath here, and then you can hook in your single dial turning hot and cold water for your shower as well. So the hot and cold water on your shower too, it all happens right here. Really super smart design. Okay, another cool feature on the kitchen. One, the rear tire swing arm can swing out much further and give you more space, but we're in a showroom right now, so we don't have as much space as we would have out camping. But this huge platform here gives you place for a huge fridge and freezer combo. Or you could also put in a, a fridge in the back side, maybe a stove or an oven right here on the front. There's a lot of different things you could do here. This is a big, big space. Uh, I'm going to try to give you some dimensions. I'm going to say it's probably at least four feet long and at least 24 inches wide. Really big. Enough room for a fridge freezer combo and an oven. If you want to do a small camp oven here, you yeah. could do that yeah, as well. Yeah. So one thing I really like about this trailer, it is 100% metal, it's aluminum and it's steel. There's not even a speck of wood on this thing to ever give you a problem. If you should get a leak, if you should be in water, that'll never be an issue with this trailer. It is probably, I think, in my opinion, the most rugged trailer that Bashir makes. It's the, most, the one that's gonna last the longest. I think all of them are built to really last, but this one could last for generation after generation after generation. Really yeah. super nice design. Let's take a look at the the rack area and then kind of give you an idea of what kind of rooftop tent you could put on here because once again, no interior space on this one. This is for the purist who wants to have that rooftop tent experience every single time they go camp. All right, so another feature in the back we have are the stabilizer and supporting jacks to level out. You can level out your trailer pretty much on any terrain. These things, once again, overbuilt in Vashir style, overbuilt, they will actually crank up and lift the tires off of the ground. If you have a flat and you need to change it, you can crank it up with this thing. I don't know if they necessarily recommend that, but it does have the strength to do that, which is really a cool feature. And it's always great when you're out camping that you're sleeping on a level bed. I can speak from experience, unlevel beds, not a lot of fun. Okay, so another really nice feature, and I spoke earlier about the very rugged built up rack that we have up here, this roof rack. This is where your tent goes. This is your living space. You can fit a two, three, four person rooftop tent. You can put a lot of people here. It will support a tremendous amount of weight. How's the tunnel box? Good. All right, good. So that's where it all happens. Let's say, for example, you have your rooftop tent up here and it's going to open up passenger side. You got in your stick pockets you got your awning over here lifted up and you can roll your awning out. Here on the back you can run a 270 degree awning and wrap around your kitchen as well. Get you all the way over, staying dry from this tunnel box all the way around over to your rooftop tent axis on the other side. Really nice feature. You can get it up where a tall person could be up under here. I'm six foot one and there would be plenty of space for somebody a good bit taller than me to walk underneath an awning here. Probably six four, six five, six six, even maybe even better depending on which style of awning you have. So they've really thought this thing out really well. And I just, I'm gonna say it again, I love the really rugged design of it and that it is 100% metal, aluminum, 100% durability. Okay, so let's dive in here and look at what kind of rubber we have on these trailers. You can see the black rims, and there's room to make upgrades. These can be ordered without the rims and tires. You can put on what you want, but come stock with the, uh, the all-terrain TA. These are the KO2s, which are certainly a very capable tire. If you want to do MTs, you can do that as well. Uh, need to show you as well here also, you have your plumb line in for your hot water heater. It's right over here where your tank's gonna go. So that's already plumbed in for you. So you're not having to run that around the side and kind of creating a clutter area. Okay, so here, quick 
little addition to the kitchen layout. So we have the propane on-demand hot water heater here. You got your faucet, cold and hot water. Inside this box in here is where some of your plumbing goes, your water pump goes in here. So that's what gives you your pressure to run your whole water system. So really clean design. It's not just a pump bolted on there that you have to look at. This, you don't really ever have to see. It's a nice, clean looking design with, of course, the Vashir logo, which is really, really nice job logo. Those aren't stickers. Those things are laser etched, laser cut out. All right, so some final thoughts on this Vashir trailer. First off, I want to say I really love the rugged design of it and the layout. I think it's just smart in just about every single area. The recovery points, the electronics, the body protection, all very, very smart. One thing I would love to see out of this trailer, though, as we go underneath and take a look, where your water tank is, I would love to see a skid plate there just to protect that tank just in case because, you know, trailers don't always follow the wheel line of your tow vehicle when you're on a trail. They can slide from one side to the other. Wouldn't mind seeing a little more suspension on this trailer, but uh, the timber and suspension is a rock solid suspension, so no complaints there. The rack is phenomenal. You can put a very large rooftop tent up there. It's gonna hold it with no problem. You can carry other gear. And then another super smart design is having your awning adjustable height so you can get your awning to the height you need it at. All of the hardware, I mean, everything is just really built to last. Having these sealed compartments, we've seen some trailers where they're not sealed. You'd have to do that yourself, but here they're sealed with compression latches. No worry about rain, dust, water, dirt, anything getting in there to your food, to your refrigerators, your storage, your gear. Because when you're on a dusty trail, man, the last thing you want to do is open up all of your gear and it's all covered with dust and dirt. Propane tank, super smart, de-shackles in the rear, tail light protection. And on this trail, you have a third uh, tail light in the rear up top. So it's really nice. Plenty of light in the back. This, to me, is my favorite part of this trailer is that underneath your rooftop tent, underneath your, your rack area, that massive amount of kind of thin storage, about six inches of storage. Really huge because you can carry, like I said before, chairs, tables, surfboards. I mean, you can carry a lot of stuff in there. This massive shelf to the back is laid out really well. And one thing I really like is you can get to all the plumbing. You don't see it unless you're laying on the ground like I am here, but you don't see the plumbing, but you can get to it all easily accessible in case you need to do any service on some things. Another smart design is all of the storage on your swing out spare tire. And that thing is, like I said before, way overbuilt. Compression latches on that as well, so you don't have the rattling. And you can throw on your trash roux if you want to, throw on a bike carrier back there if you want to. There's just tons of options on that. So the Vershear thing, you see the logo here, man, even down to the logo, these aren't decals. It's just really done right. You can see that craftsmen's Guys that know how to do fabrication did that. They wanted to give a special thanks to Hinkley Overlanding in Salt Lake City for giving us the chance to spend an entire afternoon looking at their trailers and the ones they carry for Vashir. So thanks a lot, guys. Really, really had a great time with you. And we look forward to seeing you guys again.